Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up an abnormal heartbeat alert using your Garmin Instinct watch. Now if you've watched my videos before, I've done some videos about other alerts, uh, your hourly chime, storm alert, stuff like that. Uh, today we're just going to be talking about the abnormal heartbeat alert. Uh, I like to always mention that I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar Watch, non-tactical. It doesn't matter which version of Garmin Instinct you've got, this video should work for you, whether you've got solar, non-solar, tactical or not tactical. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. So I've also done a video in the past that I'll walk you through the basics of how to use the heart rate feature on your Garmin Instinct watch. Today we're just going to be talking about turning on the alert for that feature. So uh, the quick way to get to your alerts is if you press the set button and hold it, one of the options in here, it happened to be on mine, you can use the up or down button, is alerts. But you'll notice when you go into those alerts, there's a sunrise, sunset, storm, hourly, but there's no heart rate alert. If you want to turn on a abnormal heartbeat alert, you're going to need to do it one of two ways. I'm going to show you first how to do it using your watch. The second way you can do it, and the, probably the easier way is to do it through your Garmin Connect app, but I'll show you both ways. Uh, on your watch, you're going to want to have to have the uh, heart rate widget up and running. If you don't know how to add a widget to your widget wheel, I've done a video for that as well. You can go look at that in the past, but I've already got that. I'm going to press the up button and that will take me to my heart rate widget. Once I'm on that widget, the first thing I, I should probably say is my recommendation is go look at your history of your heart rate and see what your levels are. For the last four hours, for example, my high is 102, my low is 66. When you go set this heart rate alert, you're going to have to indicate what do you want the alert range to be. So uh, how high is high enough that you want an alert and how low is low enough that you want an alert. You'll notice that my heartbeat isn't showing anymore because I'm not wearing the watch on my wrist currently. So uh, I can put in a screenshot. My recommendation is go look at your past four months or so, see what the highest your heart rate has been, see what the lowest it's been, and then set your alerts based off of that. While you're on the widget, we're gonna press and hold the menu button. And the first thing that should come up is your heart rate options. We're gonna press GPS to select that. And we're gonna arrow down until we get to abnormal heart rate alerts. We're gonna press GPS to select it. And you'll see you've got two options in here. You can turn them both on, you can leave them both off, or you can just turn one on or the other. If you wanna turn on an alert for a high heart rate, you can do it there. If you wanna turn on an alert for a low heart rate, you can do it there. I'm just gonna do high alert just to show you. When I select it to turn it on by pressing GPS, you'll notice that it opens up a detail window that gives me a threshold. So what, what threshold do I want it to hit before I get this alert? I'm gonna go ahead and choose, uh, I'm gonna say for me, 140, uh, let's say 150. My heart rate gets to 150, I wanna know about it. Set the threshold, press GPS, and now you'll get an alert whenever your heart rate hits 150 beats per minute. We can do the same thing with the low one. We can set the low threshold wherever we want. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off though, because I wanna show you when you go into the Garmin Connect app, how you can do the same thing in here. Uh, this watch is going to sync to your Garmin Connect app and back and forth. So if you set it here, you should see the setting in your Garmin Connect app. Same thing if you change it uh, in your Garmin Connect app, once you sync, it'll make the changes over here as well. But very easy, that's how you would turn on the alert for an abnormal heart rate, and you can set the high or low heart rate as well as your thresholds. Once you're done, press the back button until you're back to your main screen. That's how you do it using your watch. Let's go to the Garmin Connect app and I'll show you how to do it in the Garmin Connect app. Again, I think it's a little easier in the Garmin Connect app, but just so you know both ways, we'll show you both of them. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna to wanna to go on our cell phone and go into the Garmin Connect app. Now you should be pretty familiar with the Garmin Connect app because this is the app that you're gonna to use to pull all the information over to your Garmin Instinct watch. I'm sorry, from your Garmin Instinct watch into your Garmin account, and then vice versa. It can also write information back to your Garmin Instinct watch. So as you notice when I'm in here, if I click on heart rate in any of the different locations, it's under my day, it's under yesterday, it's under the last seven days. Now you can determine which of these values are being displayed. So if you don't see that, you'll wanna look at your uh, settings 
to see whether or not you're uh, showing that information or not. But I'm going to click on my heart rate. And once I'm in there, you'll notice that there's three dots in the upper right hand corner. If I press on those three dots, one of the options is the abnormal heart rate settings. And I can click on that. It's going to ask me which device. I've only got one device. I'm going to click the Instinct Solar. And you'll see the same information that I just set on my Garmin Instinct watch. I've got a high alert set and the alert threshold is set for 150 beats per minute. If I want to turn on the low alert, I can do it here just like we saw on my watch. And I can adjust the values to any values I want. I'm just going to pick one just for the sake of picking it. I can also make adjustments to the high one that I just set. And I can save that information or I can just turn them off completely. It's a whole lot easier to do it on the cell phone versus the uh, watch, but now you know how to do it both ways. When I go back, notice it says that the settings will be applied the next time you sync your device. So once, right now, once my device is done syncing, I've successfully made those changes from my Garmin Connect app and it'll write back to my Garmin Instinct watch. Really easy, as with any uh, everything, uh, the Garmin Instinct watch is pretty easy to use. I hope this video makes sense. If you've got questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out, and thanks for watching.